wrapped a week ago, so we are done. Premiere date is July 13th on Xbox, um, MSN, and Zoom. Um, it was the longest shoot we've ever done. It was 16 days of shooting. It's always a mad rush to get everything um, that you need, especially on a web series budget, and you know we don't have a ton of crew. But we have so many talented people working that we do like twice the work that a normal crew would do, I think. Uh, that said, I really am really happy about season four, and we're doing some things we've never done before, and it's kind of wacky, and I really think, I don't know, hopefully people like it. It makes me laugh. Now, I would just like to be on the beach, like in the shade, it was a my time at hand. I don't like the sun particularly, but you know, maybe just the feeling of being on an island is an, a fantastic sort of isolationistic feeling. You know, we're definitely making a push to, to produce other series by the end of the year, at least one other one. And I write the guild, but I definitely, you know, I, I would like to focus on one other project between seasons four and seasons five. I literally have not had a, a day vacation from the show in a very long time, and I think that, you know, doing a project in between would definitely help give fresh eyes um, to the show. So people think I'm, you know, a somebody, but that's from the internet perspective. Like, I don't, I actually rarely audition for other things. You know, the rare time that I do other jobs is when the producer or writer write me a part. But I, I think we're gonna see more and more people who are doing their own stuff on the web jump to more TV and, and movies. I mean, I know that this pilot season they cast a lot of actors from web series. I've been forced to become an entrepreneur, <laughs> balancing checkbooks. Doing anything like that has never been anything I was trained to do or had a particular interest in. So for me, I was like, uh, the internet's kind of democratic. I'll just go to the tech company. And uh, you know, as far as the show goes, like Microsoft, it's a dream to work with. They're not interested in creatively shaping the show uh, as long as we deliver something consistent and uh, something that their audience is gonna like. And I, I appreciate their trust and I try to deliver something consistent and funny that their audience is going to love as much, you know, and our audiences are combined. I sat down with a web show with no budget and we made out of our houses. I was like, how, how do I get this show to the people who want to watch it? And I just thought, like, what would I do? And that's how I always do it. You know, now the show has grown to the point where I can't manage everything. It's two women doing this show. We don't have an office. We can't afford an office. <laughs> we don't have, you know, sometimes we have an intern, and that's only when we're shooting usually, but we're doing it ourselves. So time management is very challenging. And we actually do have somebody now, Brian Kamioka, who, um, because we just literally couldn't handle the, uh, the Guild email, Twitter, and Facebook, and I was noticing I'm just not updating for our fans enough. So he, you know, we do, I still post a little bit on there, but he is the one who manages those accounts for us now. There's no going back at this point. You can't just be uh, an artist without a website and a Twitter stream and a blog. You know, you can't write books without blogging about it and inter interacting with your fans and having tweet ups and stuff like that. Like, I think that there is an expectation because people are seeing that creating a community is valuable and it makes your property, whatever it is that you do, stand out from the crowd. But if you're, you know, satisfied with working in the niche that you have, and believe me, on the internet, a niche is millions and millions of people. So like, why not be, why not be happy with that and grow from there?